everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NFL action for uh, week 15, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to this VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so we're going to take a look at some of these games here. There's some important ones as we're getting close to the end of the season. So let's take a look at some of these. Um, First one we want to look at, as we go down through the list, is the Dallas Cowboys and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Dallas comes in to play burning hot. You can see they're winners of their last four and five out of their last six, while Jacksonville is coming off of a win, and they are three and three over their last six. You can see uh, Dallas is burning hot versus um, average status for Jacksonville. If you look here, Dallas has a 59% chance of winning, and they are three and a half point favorites with an over-under set at 47.5. If you take a look at the over-under, Dallas has been over the line in five out of the last six. If you look over here at Jacksonville, three out of their last six. The score predictor, Dallas 34, Jacksonville 15, and you see the confidence level of prediction here is 54%. You know, let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. If you look at this, you can see Dallas on an upward trend. You see the chart here, the upward trend up to plus 27, while Jacksonville was at nine, and they have dropped down to uh, plus five. If you take a look at this volatility oscillator, you can see here that Dallas on an upward trend at plus four, and Jacksonville has been very inconsistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, and they are at minus four. In the end, I think this is a Dallas game. In a game going over the line, I like the Dallas to win and to cover. Dallas to win and cover over the line. Okay, let's take a look at some of these other ones. Kansas City, Houston, Philadelphia, Chicago. We're not going to take a look at that one either. Pittsburgh, Carolina. A lot of good games, but we're only going to take a look at four of them. And you see here as we scroll down the list. The next one we want to look at is New England and Las Vegas. You see this is a tight one here. Um, as far as the, the odds go, 1.8 to 2 in favor of the Raiders. That is a 1.5 point spread with the over-under at 44.5. We see here percent chance of winning 53 for New England 47 for the Raiders, so a slight edge as far as this goes, according. And I don't know why this went down, so we're going to have to we have to go back to our game here. A little glitch here in the technology, so just bear with me as I get back to the game we were at. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now you can see that New England is average up there, coming off of a win for or five and well, four and two, excuse me, or the last six. Well, Vegas is average down, coming off of a loss, and 3-3 three and three over their last six. The score predictor has New England by a 31-16 edge with 39% level of confidence, so not a very high level of confidence. But if you take a look at the power ranks indicator, New England is stable at plus 12 over the last uh, couple weeks, while the Raiders have climbed from plus 2 to plus 14 over the last few weeks. If we take a look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, here's another instance where one team is very stable, New England at plus seven, while the Raiders are not stable, they are at minus one. In fact, their highest level for the season was at uh, plus two back around the end of October. Let's take a look at any changes in the money line. This is the money line for the Raiders. You can see it opened at 1.9 or one. And you see it did climb to 1.8 and then went back down to 1.9 or now it has back up to its current status at 1.8. So in the end, how do I look at this one? I think it's a New England win. New England will remain in the playoff hunt with that road win, but I would pass on the over under bet. Okay, so we're going to take a look now at the Titans and the Chargers. This is actually the game of the day. The Titans and Chargers are both at 7-6 and six and both in the playoff hunt. But the Titans, you can see, are ice cold down, coming off of three straight losses. And the Chargers are average, winners of two of their last three. If you take a look at the over-under, it's at 46.5. That's a two-and-a-half point favorite for the Chargers. And they have a slight edge, 51% to 49% chance of winning. The odds are 1.67. For the Chargers to 2.18, so you can see a slight favorite there for the Chargers. The score predictor has a blowout, 35-16 in favor of the Chargers, with about 65% level of confidence. If you take a look at the over/under, you can see under in the last two for Tennessee, over in the last two 
or excuse me, under in the last two for the Chargers, over in the last two for Tennessee. This might be a good time to pass on the over-under. Let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. You can see that both teams on a downward trend. Tennessee was at 24. They have dipped down to 17. While the Chargers were at 18, they have dropped down to plus 12. If we take a look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, which is always kind of interesting and somewhat important to look at. Um, the Chargers are at plus 5. They were at a high of plus 6. They have dipped to plus 5. And Tennessee was also dipped down. They were at a high of plus 2, which happened a couple times this season. Now they are at plus 1. In the end, I like the Chargers at home. I like them to win in cover, but I, want to, I think this game, first I said to pass in the over and up. I think I'm going to lean towards the under on this one. The final game we want to look at is New York and Washington. In the NFC East, both teams still have a playoff chance, but this is a vital game. The winner has a chance, and loser probably have a very difficult time. Um, Washington is a home favorite of 1.41 to 2.868. That translates to a line of 4.5 points. Um, the over-under is set at a low 40.5. Um, the Giants have been involved over the line in their last four. Washington under the line for the last six. You see the odds are 1.41 to 2.868. Burning hot versus ice cold down. Washington it looks like, you know, pretty pretty solid bet here, right? And if you look at the score predictor, 33-21 favor of Washington with confidence of about 55%. The power ranks indicator has both teams at plus 22, but you see Washington was at zero back, you know, back in the days when they weren't playing well, back in the middle of October, and they have completely climbed most of the way from then they are now at plus 22 and the giants have dipped to 22. the consistency factor neither team has been very stable with regard to their favorite other dog stats so take that into consideration before you place the bet um i actually like this to be a washington win but i think this could be very close i think by a field goal so i like the giants to cover and washington to win in a game going over the line Okay, so there you have it. Those are the games for the NFL for week 15. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.